Hi guys, so today we're gonna be making the best cheese grits ever. So I'm gonna start with about four cups of water. I will list the recipe in the description box. And then I'm going to add my Nora seasoning because you know I love it. This is what's gonna make those grits the bomb. So you need this. Then I'm gonna add a teaspoon of salt or a tablespoon of salt or so. And then I'm just gonna slowly whisk my, my grits in when my water comes to a boil. Make sure your water is boiling. And then you wanna slowly whisk your grits in it. I will list the recipe below. Slowly whisk them in, just whisk, 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 because you want to make sure they're nice and smooth. And then I'm just going to take a lid and put them on top, put it on top of my pot and put this on low heat, very low heat. And every now and then, just check your grits. These are going to cook for about 20 to 30 minutes. I'm using quick grits, but they still need to cook for a very long time. So about 20 to 30 minutes is good. So every now and then, just check them and just whisk them and stir them a little bit to make sure that they're not sticking. And put your lid back on, okay? Then once uh, those grits are nice and thick, just like this right here, so they look almost lumpy, but they're really thick, want to add a cup of cream to that. And we're gonna just slowly whisk that all together to make them nice and smooth. This is what my mama called whipping your grits. You whipping them, make them smooth and creamy. These grits are so good, y'all. I'm telling you, you want you don't want to make your grits any other way but like this. They're so good. And then I'm just gonna take. Um, some cheese once they get nice and smooth and creamy just like this right here we're gonna add our cheese to that okay so I'm just gonna use some cheddar I've got whatever was in my damn refrigerator for real some cheddar some some gruyere some Swiss I don't care whatever you want to you use some sliced cheese up in there I don't care just get the cheese up in there and then I added some Parmesan because you guys know I love me some Parmesan so this is how they look when you let the cheese melt ooh Look at that, smooth and creamy. This is what you want your grits to look like. That heavy cream just sets these right off. You want them to look just like that. Then at the end, I'm gonna add my, my uh, butter. I don't know how much I use, maybe about two tablespoons, I don't know. This is your recipe, add as much butter as you want to, okay? Then I'm just gonna season mine a little bit with some black pepper because I like pepper up in mine, but you don't have to do that. And then just stir them around so all of that is well combined. Ooh. Look at that, y'all. These grits are so good. Oh, my God. And they should look just like this. Smooth, creamy, rich, and amazing. I'm telling you guys, you will not want to make your grits any other way when you make these grits. They are the bomb. And I'm just going to plate it up with some more butter, of course, because I want them to look pretty and a little bit of parsley. And we are done. Mm. Take it all in. Take it all in. Amazing. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.